A pleasant good morning. These devotions are brought to you today, July 1st, 2021, by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I am Cameron Saunders, the deacon assigned to the parish of Christ the King in Ridgeland Park West on the island of New Providence. Let us pray. O God, our defender, storms rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair. Deliver your sons and daughters from fear and preserve us all from unbelief. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel appointed for our Eucharistic readings for today. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 through 17. Matthew 8, 5 through 17. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, appealing to him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed in terrible distress. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only speak the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under, th under authority, with soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard him, he was amazed and said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and will eat with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the heirs of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go, let it be done for you according to your faith. And the servant was healed in that hour. When Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her, and she got up and began to serve him. That evening, they brought to him many who were possessed with demons, and he cast out the spirits with the word and cured all who were sick. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Here ends the lesson. In today's Gospel reading, we hear of Jesus who returns to his headquarters in Capernaum. <clears throat> Since the Gospels mention soldiers, even tax collectors, they are present at Capernaum. It is likely that there was a Roman garrison at this location. This centurion, this Roman soldier who was commanding and managing some 100 or so men, knew Jesus and meets him upon his return. It seems likely that he had heard n numerous detailed reports about him from his men, or perhaps he had seen Jesus himself performing his acts of power. Yet, what is apparent in this story is that this centurion was completely convinced of both Jesus' abilities to heal his servant and his, his capacity to do so from a distance. This centurion calls Jesus and himself two of a kind. They are both men under authority. The Greek word being used for authority here conveys the right to control or to govern. It speaks of dominion. It can, I, now it can also refer to an, the area or sphere of jurisdiction. And so as this story is presented, where Jesus seems to contrast the faith of Jews and the faith of this Gentile, I wish for us Christians today to consider if we are only believers by name. Do we hold and uphold 
such faith as this centurion? Do we uphold and respect God's law? Do we follow God's precepts and his principles, particularly those pertaining to tithing, fasting, church attendance, and even romance? In this story, we see a, of a Jesus who appreciates and rewards faith. This can be helpful for us for times when we feel that God might be distant. Let us be reminded, my brothers and sisters, that we serve a Jesus who has ascended and sits on the throne of God, who gives and dispenses blessings both in healing of our physical bodies and our spiritual bodies. Let us be reminded in the faith of this centurion to hold our own faith when it seems that God might be far away, when it seems that we cannot hear a word, when it seems that we cannot see any kind of relief in our situation, that we serve a God who is willing to heal and help us whenever we are to ask. Let's be encouraged today in the faith of the centurion to also hold our own faith and to help others in their times of faith and in times when they also come and seek us for assistance. Amen. Let us pray. God of goodness and love, in whom we can trust in every hour of need, have mercy on all who are faced with fear and distress through calamity. We ask that help may be given to them speedily, and this emergency may be turned into an opportunity to strengthen the bonds of love and service which bind men and nations together, and for the refreshment of our faith. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for listening to these devotions, and please feel welcome to share them with a friend. We are